Hey, what's good, my people? It's about Miss Slicks, and we're definitely back again for another reaction on this year. BR, BPTV, be real, be positive television, brothers and sisters. Saturday edition, of course. Welcome to each and every one of you guys. Let us get into the vibrations right there. Now, guys, as you can pretty much see on the screen, we have West Indies cricket. What is the big deal between West Indies cricket? Uh, the last set of videos I saw, I saw West Indies winning, but then the videos that I did not see, I saw West Indies losing. However, I believe that West Indies cricket is coming into Dominica. Or cricket, West Indies, whichever you want to call it. But of course, according to this thing, I, I'm right there, guys. West Indies name squad for first test of cycle pure. Uh, what is that? Agabafi. Agabafi's test series powered by DS Bank. I don't know what kind of bank that. But of course, they are coming into Dominica right there. And guys, guess who is starring in it? Well, not necessarily starring in. But guess who is the... Big guy on the scene, brothers and sisters, none other than Alec Athenes. Alec Athenes has made the squad, brothers and sisters, and will be definitely um, doing his thing. I think they're going to be versing India. I, I'm, 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 I'm not too sure, but I think that is the case right there. And as you can see, the Dominican flag next to Alec Athenes, for which I believe a number of persons in Dominica will definitely show up. I think it's in Dominica. Yes, I believe it's in Dominica that they're going to be um, doing the thing July, yes. I was I was told this um, some time back, before it actually happened. I was told that they were coming into Dominica and stuff. So yes, brothers and sisters, Alec Athenes, or Athenes, however you pronounce his last name, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's definitely going to be there, right there. I I, I was going to say, what, Shiv Narayan Shanda Paul? <laughs> but apparently this person must be related to Shanda Paul in some way, shape or form. But um, that person is also on the team. There's a number of individuals right there. I've heard of Jason Holder, um, Kemar Roach. Um, uh, these are the people that I know, guys. Kemar Roach, uh, Jason Holder. Um, yes, Craig ba Brathway. He's the captain. I remember when he was doing really, really well. Um, Some time back, I think he scored number of sixes or something like that. And won the game that was way back in the day. If I have the correct person, correct. Right there. I'm not really a cricket fan, brothers and sisters, but I, I like the the T20s. Man, they're short, nice, and exciting. I think the the fifty fifties are also good, but this is the test that they're going to be playing right there. But Alik Athenes is definitely going to be there. So one of the things that I must point out right there, guys, is somebody utilizing the talents and has been seen out there. One of the things that one of my friends told me, they told me, Mr. Licks, you know you have a talent for doing certain things, but how do you expect people to know your talent if you do not put your talent out there? And that is one of the things that I really appreciate from that individual right there. And it stayed with me. I was doing my thing, no doubt about it. But when he stated that to me, I was like, you know what? I need to push my talents out there further and further. Regardless of who is watching me, just push it out there, guys. And it actually helped. It definitely helped. Of course, people who only know your talent if you show it to them. Some people have talent and skills and they never get to use it. That is insane. Brothers and sisters, how on earth can we have talent and skills and because of some sort of fear or our own, you know, thinking or some sort of thing that we refuse to show our talents. We are given talents to share with the world, brothers and sisters. And if you don't share your talent, you know what's going to happen? I think there's a next video. I, I think I have. Yes, brothers and sisters. Let us listen to that old lady speaking. I normally bring forth. Um, time is not your friend. True? Brothers and sisters, time. Ay, ay, ay. Time is not your friend, Gasa. Listen to what the old lady has to say right there. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine, sister. I'm doing fine. How are you doing? No, wait until it's too late to start using your gear. See? It just so happened how this coincides with what exactly I was going to say next, brother and sister. It's just, it just so happened to be uh, that way, man. It's like the story just led up to this, and I was like, yo, okay, yes, brothers and sisters, listen! Well, think about it, you've been blessed with one. But what Let's, bring that back. Let's bring that back. How are you? Doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wait until it's too late to start using your gift. Don't wait until it's too late until you start using your gifts. You're not the Kentucky man that started at 76 years old. Start now. Well, think about it, you've been blessed with one. Hmm. But what the God give that you don't use his show taken away. Taken away, away yes, man. And that is a heck of a thing because God give us talent and skills to share out there. You don't want to share your talent and skills. He will take it away and give it to somebody else. I, I don't know if you guys remember the, the parable of the ten, ta 
the ten tablets or the five tablets or whatever and the one he gave one decide to bury it while the other ones he gave five turn it into ten and the one he gave ten turn it into into twenty it doesn't matter if you have a hundred or one gift use it man think about the time now the stuff i could have should have would have done but we're too scared to do it because i was scared how bright my light would go shine now look at me old remember when you're full of light brothers and sisters way back in the day Wondering, boy, how can I make ends meet? And then you let life take you down instead of utilizing your skills and abilities. Sometimes we have the opportunity, you know, but we are scared. Guys, I always believe that everybody gets the opportunity for them to shine. But sometimes when they get it, they might have pride in them. Yeah, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go. Do boy, I tell you, pride goes before fall. It's so true. They might have pride and they don't want to do it because, oh, that is a little thing I don't want to do. We never know. That little thing can elevate you much further. Never know. The greatest of men started very small. The greatest of men started very small. But no, you don't want to do this because that too, you, yeah, your mind, your, that, I don't want to do that. I too, I too prideful for that thing. I'm too prideful for, to mix with that person. I'm too prideful. And then you end up losing the, that opportunity that you bypassed. Donkey is passing you by until you reach old and say, boy, I wish I did. Brothers and sisters, we need to stop living in the I wish I could. But do it now, mas me. But do it now. Ain't got nobody on the car right here to see about me. And I wasted all of my time thinking about what I could have been doing. <laughs> it's interesting that she mentioned something there, especially when it comes on to relationships. She says she ain't got nobody looking after her. Sometimes you bypass somebody because that person not, did not present themselves in the way that you wanting them to present themselves. And as a result of them not presenting the way that you think they should have presented themselves to you, you bypass the greatest thing that could have ever happened to you. And I'm spending a lifetime of loneliness. That is something else. We and look up in the tide go. So whatever you got in your mind to do, you better get it done. Get it done. Stop wasting time, boy. Time doesn't wait for us, brothers and sisters. Life is like a vapor. That is a literal statement in comparison to the time of the universe itself. You know how fast light travels? Billions, not billions, but thousands of miles per second. Time is like that, you know. Water vapor of... That is how life is for us, brothers and sisters. You cannot be wasting time. You cannot be prideful and thinking, oh, I don't want to do this. I can't. Stop that, man. Stop that. I'm talking about a very same relationship stuff, guys. I saw something. Let me see if I can get it for you guys right there. Hold on. This is it right there, brothers and sisters. This is it. They went after masculinity because... They went after masculinity because it is the foundation of a strong, healthy society. True. Facts. They went after women because they are the heart and soul of a healthy society. Facts. Not there. <laughs> They are now going after the little ones because they are the future. They try to mess up the future, brothers and sisters. If we don't take stock of who we are as a people, we will forever watch the future going down in utter chaos. Utter chaos, brothers and sisters. Time doesn't wait for nobody. Look at me. I ain't got nobody on the car right here to see about me. The things that people could do it just things that popping in my head, guys. Let me get another one for all you. I saw it. <laughs> and this is it right there, brothers and sisters. Talking about the very time. We waste time so long. If human beings were smart enough to realize what is happening to them throughout history, throughout history, that means it has happened in the past. Apparently, you're not living from the past. It has been the inaction of those who could have acted to stop the very craziness that is going on. But the indifference acted, the indifference of those who should have known better, the silence of the voice of justice when it mattered most, that has made, that has made it possible for evildoers to triumph. Ayle Selassie I said that. Throughout history, it has been the inaction of many, the silence, the deafening silence of those who knew better, who refuse to do anything about it, brothers and sisters. And when they come for society in disregard, 
When they come for society to do this to us, we let it happen. Well, that thing does that that thing does take a turn. Every brothers and sisters, I didn't thought it, I didn't know it was that I was gonna be doing it. But time. Now look at me. Could have, should have, would die. But with two, I think about the time now, the stuff I could have, should have, would die. But tell me, I tell you, I tell you. I was too scared to do it because I was scared how bright my light was going to shine. Now look at me. Ain't got nobody hard to come around to even see about me. And I wasted all of my time thinking about what I could have been doing. And look up and the time gone. So whatever you got in your mind to do, you better get it done. Better get it done. Stop wasting time, brothers and sisters. At all aspects, get it done. Things might not present themselves to be the way that you want them to do, but just go out there and try something, man. Go on there and meet that person that you, you, you I, boy, humans, boy. Anyways, brothers and sisters, let me move along right there. Talking about time, brothers and sisters. Sometimes time does get cut short. This took place in Portsmouth, brothers and sisters. I think it's some by some Spanish bar. And then people are just, you know, having a little, a few drinks and on their phone and talking, you know, maybe Spanish or English, whichever it is. You know, and people just, you know, hey, what's going on? Boop, right there, all right then. You know, so easy life could just end. There's a lady that was facing the opposite direction. If that vehicle, that vehicle collected her, look at that. If that vehicle collected her, you know, she could have been problems today. It missed her. Look at the cheddar even move, Miss Abby. The cheddar even move is the piece of pillar pipe, whatever that there. That move, I think this is in the Glanville region. It miss her. Yes, Lord. And the car looking nice again, eh? But thank God nobody got hurt. Missed herself. If that had just it had that if that had momentum, father, you in trouble, eh? You you in trouble, Gasa? This is what coincides with that very thing right there, brothers and sisters. You never know. This is why I always tell people: make sure you are prepared to meet your Creator. All right then. But you know, for some people, they don't have that opportunity apparently. The Coast Guard in Dominica apparently picked up something in the sea. They picked up something in the sea, brothers and sisters. That something is actually someone. Who is that person? I don't know. I cannot tell you if you guys know did that, of course, in the comment box below. But this person, time is up. I'm sure that person didn't think maybe they probably went for a swim or something and something hold them. This happened to one of my partners them. Went for a sea having fun with his family and that was it. Just like that. The war was going. I don't know if it's the injection. Maybe the injection take me start to. I don't know. But a lot of interesting things are happening to us, brothers and sisters. And we want to turn a blind eye. As if objective reality is nothing but... A facade? Ha 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 Yes, man. Well, he's gone. He or she, that person there, is gone. That person is gone. Make hay while the sun shines, brothers and sisters. Make hay while the sun shines. But even as some of us live in life, sometimes <laughs> you're wondering if people really have good hair. Eh? Well, <laughs> this brings me to my next clip. I need help. I Brian. <laughs> Brian is back in the building, brothers and sisters. What did Brian do this time? What, Brian? Guys, this is people you should not be like, okay? I don't yes, want another yes. tragedy. And the tragedy, the whole world know the tragedy already. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he talking about the woman. Boy, that woman put you through things, you boy. Yes, Lord. But pray for me. And talk to me, come to me, but don't dread me. Like Let's go back to the beginning. Did you, Brian Jolly? Brian Jolly? I wonder if you related to the Jolly. Anyways. Did you, Brian Jolly? Well, I think you maybe really believe you were Dr. Brian Jolly. <laughs> you know you had money sending on this stage. <laughs> Tell me. You had money sending on this. This is an individual, I believe, that works on the, in the NEP. 
and he's out there drinking rum or something you know they like to drink their, their waters already and i guess he wasn't thinking properly and felt hey i'm a billionaire man let me send some dollars and you know in dominica a dollar is not a dollar eh? you have five dollars they have to send them dollars hard you wouldn't be pelting people with dollar in dominica so most likely it's five dollars and ten dollars he was sending on this stage for what i don't know but you know now we're talking to him bitch he was only sending on this stage, Brian. <laughs> so, Brian, Wait. before we got that little um, interruption there, you were sending money on stage. Literally sending money on stage. <laughs> Not figuratively, you know. Literally sending him money. The little money he has, he's sending him money on stage. Boy, I mean, I I understand enjoy life, eh, but don't be, well, guys, when I tell you enjoy life, don't be foolish, you know. I never tell nobody go there and be foolish. No, not me. Somebody else. But not me telling because I don't tell you those things there. Hopefully, there was somebody, uh, a kind person. <laughs> when you send the money, she picked it up. And when I went to her, I explained to her. I and she, she understand. But what I'm saying, Brian. <laughs> so you look. <laughs> the whole things are in that Dominican. They don't care if you put money, you send the money. You freely send your money in this hard economy in the nature isle of the Caribbean, the planet Dominica. There. If man get money, man take it and go. But apparently, this lady must have felt some sort of way, man. Ah, the Holy Spirit must have made, up an imp made some sort of impression on her to, to give back the money. <laughs> she, made the she, she was saying, hey, money falling from the sky, man. Look, me. No, he needs the Ted Calvas. I was sending money. That's something else. You don't money. What you sending money for? What I'm saying, Brian, there's no need to do that. There's no need to I try to. Try there's no need. No, no, no. Myself. You don't need to. You are trying to enjoy yourself by making yourself come poor, huh? What? <laughs> try to impress anybody. No, that that doesn't impress oh. anybody. Man, impressing, trying to impress people to make themselves poor. Huh? Hey, no! Human beings have a problem, you know, boy. You're trying to make, make like you have a set of money. Everybody knows NDP you working, cutting grass or whatever you're doing. You're trying to come on to it and send in money as if you have plenty money <laughs> to impress people that, that probably don't have money. <laughs> they don't have money or they have little money. Things are hard in the nature aisle. Come on, man. I need help. I need to do that tragedy. Mm. And the tragedy, the whole world know the tragedy already. <laughs> now, I sure now you wanted to laugh, you know, because of the girl you saying he come out on tragedy. My brother, woman does do man thing, me boy. It's really true when it's stated that man really, men know how to truly love, whereas women love under condition. If you don't provide certain things for women, she, they, they, they most likely go to leave. They might save a little bit. But it's gonna hurt them a little. I, I not feel it. This is why I always tell fellas to be on their purpose. Be on their purpose. Don't worry about these girls out there. Them girls don't come and go. That is a business. Be on your purpose, father. I'm just trying to impress girl. Girl for what? I grenade I'm trying to impress girl for what? <laughs> for what? I don't want to talk about it. But break for me. And talk to me, come to me, but don't dread me. Like my brother is an adult, he's supposed to take the full responsibility as a man to know what you should do and what you shouldn't be doing. You know, some of us want to blame alcohol and blame everybody except ourselves. We want to screw up the country and say, Oh, the rest of the world going crazy, but we bail in mansion saying, Oh, things are hard. Stop your naughty ways, man. <laughs> I know that took a left, but you get my drift. I got it. I totally agree with that. In fact, now I want to sit down and think and reason myself. You should. That's what all men should do. Sit down and reason themselves before they go there and form the royal donkey with themselves. Because where I work in the country, mm -hmm. it's helping me a little because I stay away from people mm -hmm. and my boss man talking to me. Say that well, maybe not NEP, maybe shift. I don't know. But I heard this NEP was working and he used to bring the Matilda with him to go and cut grass and these things. I get. I don't know. But if he change or whatnot, that's great. If you he, if he elevate him, that's wonderful. 
but you don't form the royal donkey by saying, oh, I've elevated and I decide to just come and throw the little money I have. Don't be a Ted Calabas, man. It pay me good, but I don't want to come back in the tragedy I come out. So You mean the tragedy with the woman which you say you would not go behind or go back for and most likely from my understanding you went back for her three times. You call her all kind of names. She was with 10 men and you, you use, use Dexter Dapp. You want to make 11. Not true. She with 10 men. You want to make 11. No. no. You, use, you know Dexter Dapp. Okay. And you see, you no know, going back behind her and she come back again. You you hugging and kiss her after she come back. I, why let me leave that alone? <laughs> I want if I could stay for the whole year without a girl. Without a girlfriend you talking about. Anyways, guys, look who somebody else you should not be like. This individual right there. No, it's alleged that this individual was captured in 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 um in Antigua. But based on this thing, guys, Capitoline family allegedly Capitoline family who's for the Scarlet Labour Party, according to a document obtained from the French authorities, brothers and sisters. French, what's a what's authorization? I don't know if that is the French word for authority, but you get my point. The brother of Scarlet's hotels developer. <laughs> we have to know who that is. <laughs> we don't know who this Scarlet Hotel developer is. Anything, but we know Scarlet. Scarlet Hotels developer and local money distributor. All this is based on alleged. They mind me, please. But they say in these things right there. And apparently, this individual, uh, especially for the electoral campaign, apparently, um, you know, was taken into custody. Um, not just taken into custody, brothers and sisters, but brought into immigration um, right there in Antigua. Uh, of course, to be deported. To Dominica over the weekend. I'm guessing the weekend is now. A local ad, uh, local attorney has contacted an attorney in Antigua to represent the brother of the PM's friend and the campaign petty cash holder, according to what he's saying right there. Now, it's rather interesting, guys. I don't know if this is this is something rather interesting, but Antigua Observer actually had this up right there, and they're saying some rather interesting stuff. The Medica businessman Dowling Alexander arrested in Antigua. This is according to Antigua Observe, I believe they, they call themselves. Is it right? Antigua News. Okay. And they're saying something right there. Oh, Nature Island News, apparently. They picked it up from Dominica Granby. A Granby individual from Dominica known as Mr. Alexander, who left Dominica for Antigua, has been arrested on the strength of an Interpol warrant on his arrival to VC Bird International. Right there. Okay, so Nature Isle News, of course, NIN. Um, I think that is what's his name, Kalai. I think that is Kalai right there. Um, NIN received several calls from persons with knowledge of the of the arrest, the matter at hand, and of course had the of course they went to do their own investigation to confirm the arrest, which of course was confirmed, and of course our investigations revealed that Alexander arrived in Antigua and was picked up by Antigua policemen um, on the aircraft. It's kind of like um. That partner from Trinidad, Swanee, they, 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 well, they didn't send him up. They sent him back to Trinidad when he came to Dominica. Anyways, I guess that's the same thing that has happened there. According to the investigation of NIN, I'm guessing the Interpol warrant is on behalf of the French government. So apparently there are some issues with the French government with that individual right there. And of course, this is Skerritt's friend, person dealing with whatnot and whatnot, brother. Okay, so there's, there might have been some ties with him and... Maybe scared. You know, there's some interesting dealings that apparently seems to be going on. We do not know what exactly it is. Well, some of us know, but you know, for the sake of for the sake of social media, <laughs> we shall leave things where they are right there. But apparently, this individual got arrested, and I saw an interesting post. I saw an interesting post at the end of this thing. It's sitting right there. 99 days for the thief, for the volley, the sacre volley, but one day for the police. And apparently somebody replied to this stating, watch yourself, this person will be looking, what? Will be looking out for you. So because the person said 99 days for the volley and one day for the, for the, for the police, you say you're looking out for the person because the person said that. I should have make a comment, but I guess I too late. How do you think only can just threaten people? Oh, uh, we'll be looking out for you for what? Huh? For what are you looking out for them for? Huh? You can give them a candy. You have money for them. 
You owe them more than money. What, what you looking for? Huh? What? What do you think we can threaten people? And uh, not necessarily a threat, but at the same time, I mean, come on. It sounds like a threat. And you put your name like a Ted Calbas. <laughs> Is that John Telemark? You put your name there to for people. If people know who John Telemark is, they're going to know. <laughs> Some of all you, I don't know what kind of criminals all you be here. But all you need to do better. All you need to do. Anyways, do, uh, joke I'm making, guys. Don't do better. Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> all you dirty ways. No, man. Swap your dirty ways, brothers and sisters. With that said right there. So we see what we should not be like and we see what we should like. Kudos to Alec Afanis for definitely making the West Indies team and, of course, most likely coming to play. In his home country, Dominica, West Indies, hopefully West Indies win. We're not for West Indies losing. I don't know what this losing business. we for win alone. Win, not draw. All we can go for the draw. We'll settle for a draw. But we want the win always, all day, every day. <laughs> I don't watch cricket much. But we want the win, okay? We want, I want Athens, Alec is playing there. We want the win. He already did well, scoring one hundred. I think he, he equaled the record of the fastest 50 or 100 in, in whatever thing. So kudos to him. He's definitely doing his thing right there. Hopefully he can keep it up. I think there's another person, but I can't really remember the name. But big up Alec. I think it's around time. Guys, give this video a thumbs up for him. And with that said, guys, this is pretty much all I have uh, for this year. Saturday edition on this year, BRBB TV. So with that said, guys, be real. Be positive. Tell we can have people them sub their door TV. It's not true. Tell them stop their door TV. <laughs> Let me put it back. Stop your door TV, man. I don't know what dealings they tend to have, what they're collecting, what they're doing, all kind of thing. But apparently the French authorities wanted him. So with that said, right there, guys, I guess we'll keep abreast to what is taking place. And with that said, guys, remember, time is important. Time, brothers and sisters, do not waste time. Time is, oh. Time doesn't wait. Brothers and sisters, you almost finish. Do you just start with? Do you just start? 2020 didn't just start the other day, no, brothers and sisters. We three years later going to the fourth year. We still we still have electoral reform yet. But hopefully we, we forget the barren nonsense that they will put in, if that foolishness there, and we go for what what the doctors were, the doctor was saying when it comes on to proper electoral reform that is needed in Dominica. It's not a scary thing, it's the people's thing. The people need to stand up and say, hey, this is what we want. We want voter ID cards. You would have no a national identification nonsense. Foolishness you speaking. Utter irrevocable magic you speaking in our heads. So you want voter ID cards and whatever. Anyways, guys, I sit too long on this right there. This is Saturday. Go there, free up yourself on Saturday, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Enjoy the weekend. Stay alive. Boom. -bang.